Good evening guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin evening wrap. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we will go straight over to those charts. So Bitcoin on the four hour. <laughs> so we had a bit, a little bit of an expansion of volatility here. Obviously some um, Arthur Hayes BitMEX um, related FUD. I guess it's nice to see for a change um, rather than obviously um, <laughs> all the memes about Arthur Hayes basically causing the dumps um, so that he can um, he can profit um, with his liquidation engine and his 17% um, liquidation fees. Um, it's nice to see him under some pressure himself at the moment. Hopefully he can get liquidated um and then and then and then there will be we will have we'll have balance back back in back to the force or balance in the force or whatever it is in star wars i'm not a massive star wars fan i've always been a more of a star trek fan rather than a star wars fan um there were too many crazy crazy aliens in star wars for me um but anyway yeah so um yeah we've got a little bit of um this is obviously the daily candle just so we can look at it in the context of the range but we are still um, pretty much um, confined um, well the candle candle body wise anyway um, within this um, 10,800 pretty much to uh, well this 10,500 10,600 support level we've got um, so obviously if we've wicked below it um, we wicked above it um, we well I say wicked we were trading above it earlier uh, today before obviously um, fear uncertainty and doubt took over the market but this is not a massive move guys still this is not really doing a lot in the context of of um, the overall um, pattern the overall just reduction of volatility um, we are obviously expecting a lot bigger move than this um, when we have it um, so is it going to be to the downside is this a fake out to the downside and then to the up um, to the upside that that slingshot pattern the bump and run pattern that we've um that we were talking about before um or are we just gonna just still play more sideways i mean sideways is a legitimate option now because um stock markets are not looking bad gold and silver not looking too bad dollar index not looking too bad for us obviously it's going down it's looking bearish which is good for us um and um bitcoin may have those two forces um, acting upon it it may have the FUD um, acting d acting downwards and it may have all those other positive um, factors um, well pulling us to the uh, the upside in in a sorts of tug of war um, and we could we could we could still say it's trade sideways and underperform because clearly this morning um, and early today before uh, obviously um, the arrest of the the CTO I think it's the chief technical officer I forget what his name now of Binance was of not oops, oops <laughs> slipped up there didn't i um did i did i slip up or was i just foreseeing the future not really just kidding um of bitmex sorry um yeah um we were looking like we were gonna take out this level um, and get back above eleven thousand, and everything was all gonna be honky dory um unicorns rainbows sunshine um glitter um all that all that, all that good stuff um, but yeah, that um, obviously clearly wasn't to be. Um, so yeah, again though, this is still small time frame stuff. You can see, you can see we are still in the context of a smaller time frame move here. I mean, if you look how long this consolidation came on for, went on for, um, you can still see we can still tighten up within this zone. Um, but yeah, I mean, realistically though, we have still got to try and hold this ten thousand six hundred, which we are currently below. Um, but um can we overcome the downward pressure and still and, and regain uh 10,600 and start to make a move up if we do start to make a move up and the rest of the world markets are still um in our favor um then i think that will be it and we'll take out 11k because um if we can if we can if we can climb this this wall of worry now we um should be doing good but obviously we do obviously we do we, we are aware 10,600 is the important level um, and then if you lose that, obviously, well, it's quite it's quite far away from price at the moment. But hey, um, Bitcoin can do what it wants. Uh, Ten thousand two hundred level, and then ten k, and then yeah, we might be we might not be looking to, uh, too good too good at that point. So um, again, again, it's in the balance. Um, it is an unfortunate timing because we were literally looking like we were about to break up um in all fairness alts were looking good as well and then yeah everything just got slammed um let's have a look at some major markets that are unaffected by this fud 
Um, obviously, the S and P cares not of um, of a uh, of a rogue <laughs> of a rogue um, crypto derivatives exchange. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you, yeah, S and P is obviously looking good here. We are giving this a uh, serious inspection, this um, resistance level. You can see a couple of wicks down, but um, candle bodies um, still getting back up to this. Uh, well, roughly three thousand four hundred. So tomorrow, Friday, are we going to have a nice um, Friday markup into this close? Don't forget, we have um, we have got. Um, um we have finished the quarter now sorry we finished the quarter we finished the month so we're in a new month now we can start putting um uh, people can start doing doing their business um doing what they want to do um and yeah there was um, there was quite possibly a rebound uh rebalancing a quarterly rebalancing into um, the end of um um this month um which obviously with stocks move at the end of this quarter sorry um and well the end of the month as well but more so the end of the quarter and stocks had obviously gone on a run so it did look like um we were starting to see some of the selling of those stocks um so yeah um that now does not have to carry on so yeah maybe maybe it's the next leg up next leg up maybe um i mean i'm sure stimulus is going to come soon um the annoying thing uh, well it's not annoying but um just something is it is not it's more than annoying uh, but yeah, the thing about the stimulus is that um, obviously um, the, the 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 people in Congress, the people in charge, they don't care about the average people. They care about bailing out um, obviously industries that need bailing out. They care about bailing out the banks. They care about instantly having infinite money um, for the repo markets um, when they are hiccuping. But for normal people, they don't care. Um, so i've got a point i'm going <laughs> i've got a point to this story so that's why they're not really bothered about passing this stimulus they were bothered about passing stimulus when stock markets were not doing very well because the stimulus could help the stock markets and they care about the stock markets because that's what rich people that's what the powerful people care about because that's where their wealth is um and that's what their wealth is tied to um and um so maybe these hiccups in the stock markets uh this hiccup in the stock market clearly clearly losing a big um a big uh, well, clearly looking toppy and lose, losing the trend. Um, maybe that is what made them think, well, we're probably going to have to pass this stimulus. Um, and then because of that, um, was potentially going to gonna get closer to happening with them. That's why we've potentially seen this move back up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's purely stim stimulus. I mean, like, but my point is that they just don't really care until they actually saw their own their own money their own um, their own wealth um looking like it was going to suffer and looking like their wealth could benefit from the stimulus check just like when we're going on here they don't, they literally could not care less about um spending um any money on on basically um the regular american people they could definitely care about bailouts for various industries that needed the bailouts cuz that pops up stock markets and that's all they care about but so far as the normal people they don't care about you guys. They do not. They do not care. Uh, anyway, so right, we've got that little rant over. Off to the DXY. DXY clearly reflecting. Um, um, clearly, clearly reflecting the fact that stimulus is coming. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. Like I said, this is the next target. We 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 fully and formally broken this. We're not getting supported here. We had a little bounce off it, and then we took it out, and we're not getting supported by this level. So next level is down here. Do we get supported by this level? Um, I mean, you know my views, you, you know my theories. This is getting, there's a lot of lines on this chart now, isn't there? Um, I might have to look at, I might have to look at, well, it's fine. Um, yeah, so, um, here's my arrow. Here's what I'm kind of expecting. Um, basically us to, um, make our way down to here. Um, but yeah, we don't have to do that. We have got this zone. We can play out this zone. Um, we can um, have a bounce off here, try and try and make another move to the upside, um, or yeah, or we could just gradually make our way down as much the same where we have been so far. But um, ultimately, ultimately, guys, um, we could still come down to here and bounce off here and go bullish. Um, but I do think I do think we're coming down. I do think we are coming down. The great the great deval is back underway. The great devaluation. Um, so let's have a look at some of those other markets. Let's have a look at that uh, gold market. Um, gold market as you... <laughs> gold market. Let's have a look at this silver market. Um, what is going on here? Why did I zoom this? Why did that move? So we look at the silver market. As you can see, we're looking to regain this level. 
Um, yeah, we gain this level, and then I think we got a good chance of just basically um, we going bullish. Um, we are going to have... Um, yeah, we are. We obviously there is a problem with a uh, an inverted commas second wave, which is actually um, just a second, just a an, a second wave of um, of cases, not of deaths or anything. So it's it's slightly erroneous, but um, it is still um, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's um, real or not. <laughs> People dying. Um, all that matters is the response and governments seem to like want to pretend that lockdowns um, and shutting the economy down and everything they, they, They're liking to pretend that they are necessary So whilst ever they're pretending that they're necessary and actually doing them. It's gonna have an economic impact um, So yeah, uh, we got to we got to watch out for that um, But yeah, um, yeah, this looking like we can regain regain it gold over back over to gold gold is clearly looking a lot better um gold um getting back up to up to this level here um not taking not taking it out yet but this would be a pretty um a pretty good level um for us to get back above um and um yeah i mean realistically it will be onwards and upwards for gold i mean let's face it these these guys these are not going down guys um we may have our blips i mean we were in quite a prolonged um um bull market and we've had some big dips as you can see and they eventually get bought up we've had a bigger dip here and um yeah pretty much um in all likelihood gonna because <laughs> this is this is this is getting funky this um chart is we have we may have to just um i don't know what we're gonna have to do about this because this is the third day now we've seen crazy moves and obviously we had something in this pennant here which has now subsequently moved down we had a few big erroneous moves like this that we knew weren't real that are now just disappeared and i'm pretty sure this will disappear as well so we're gonna have to ignore that for the time being um let's have a look at nasdaq it is 11.5 is a big level for nasdaq 11.5 um unfortunately it's got here on a four hour nine so i expect some sideways to down from here from this point which doesn't bode well for friday we want a nice move tomorrow um just basically to help bitcoin um yeah nothing nothing on the td daily or 12 hour though so we have still got room to run but yeah we have this 11.5 is um i think is um it's a it's a it's a good psychological level i think um for this market um for us to get back up with basically um and then looking like we're on a clear clear run to the upside um ethereum um ethereum looking like it wants to try and give this a go um give this trend line a go but obviously has ran into uh ran into arthur hayes um at the moment so but yeah um squint and you can see the um, inverted head and shoulders so i do think this will break because i am bullish and i am bearish on i'm bullish on these assets i am um, bullish on stock markets i am bearish on the dollar um, i am bullish on gold and silver um and therefore i'm expect i am expecting this to break to the upside um the btc pairing is getting there it's getting there had a little foray above there today um, but yeah, it needs to start making, um, yeah, it just needs to drift out of here and then it can start to move up again. Um, oil, oil basically, I think is um, is a difficult one. Uh, oil is, um, oil is, this is USO, not oil, oil. Um, the chart is obviously a bit of a mess, um, but um, we're on a daily here. Yeah, this will do. Um, you can see that oil has... Um, is struggling basically this is that this is my main issue oil is struggling um and is that is not a good um economic indicator um but i guess um economic <laughs> economy wise things maybe aren't looking so great asset price wise price wise things may be looking better um but yeah there are there obviously are dynamics involved um with oil um such as um opec um price pricing wars um in inventory builds up um basically um wells coming back online there were online um wells that basically just need cash flow um there are there are a lot of dynamics at play here um but yeah but just looking at on the face of it a deflation of this asset is is deflationary obviously um and that does not um bode well um generally um for the market but if this is going to go down because um um production is going to uh, come back online and that's what's driving it down just the supply 
um, and it's not necessarily the fact the economy is just not functioning um, and that's not that's why it's going down um, that will be good for gold and silver because <laughs> one of the biggest inputs in gold and silver mining uh, sorry say gold good for gold and silver um, will be good for gold and silver miners um, because one of their biggest inputs in um, obviously their business is uh, is or is oil is the energy um so um yeah that'd be good for the gold and silver miners um at least if nothing else um so um i would say it's good for us but like when um oil oil goes down a lot it doesn't make a lot of difference to us here in the uk at our pumps anyway because most of the what we pay is tax anyway um but yeah so um we will have a look at the um the stochastics but again, we are getting tight. We're getting tight in a range. We're getting tight. So they're not, there's not real good reads from them. I mean, that is neither here nor there. That is, well, it's pointing down. But as you can see, it's pointed up. It's pointed down again. Um, this is pointing down. 12 hours pointing down, which um, ordinarily <laughs> is the cheat code. And obviously, we have had a move down. Um, but it's not moving down. It's not coming down from like a high zone. So I don't put too as much um as much importance on it at the moment um but yeah but yeah this could this could um this could this just obviously starts to make a move down i mean it will coincide clearly with us closing and holding above 10.6 which is very important level 10.6 is um um i keep obviously keep saying that. i've been saying that for a while um daily looking like it's turning back down but as you can see it's just tightening up in this range here um two hour flip flop two days day by daily flip flopping about so yeah i mean they're not much use here guys they are not much use um, whilst we are not trending and have no momentum. Um, so, um, so yeah, we can't really read much. We are just waiting for the move. Um, and like I said, um, well, ordinarily, stock markets um, and the dollar um, will dictate our direction. But today we've had one of those anomalous days where we've had crypto specific, um, um, basically whatever you want to call it, fundamentals, news, FUD, whatever. Um, impact in our market so i think we can recover this so um i don't think it is as important as what people may think um i, I, I initial I, and, and the, uh, well, okay so i don't think it's as important as the algos might think so the initial algo reaction uh, may uh, may be incorrect and will go up what i do remember um very very clearly in my mind was when we didn't uh, we'll get it on the chart we will f i'll find it for you we'll go back to um We'll go back to here. This is where I want to show you guys. Before we had this big breakdown from 6K. Um, oh God, that's a bit is this one. Sorry. When we had this breakdown from 6K, um, we had right here. We're looking like well, this is it. We were, we were on the ropes. We were done. Um, and then we had what was basically um, tether FUD. In much the same way, Tether was um, basically not backed by dollars and whatever and all or whatever, la di da. Um, and then what happened was people were then moving um, basically out of Tether into BTC because it was safe, and we got this ho horrendous um, spike up on this day, um, which I was obviously not obviously. I don't know why. It's just a it's just a, com a, a sentence filler. I had been selling Bitcoin, waiting for this big drop. Um, and yeah, I basically was um, selling into this rally also, albeit a little bit offside um, as, as the spike was going up. But I was watching it go up and then I was watching it start to come down. I was like, sell, 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 sell. I just was selling more. Um, so yeah, I was very short at this point. Um, but yeah, my point is this in this little candle here is Tether FUD. Um, and if we go to our daily candle today, um, this candle right here is, is a BitMEX FUD. Um, and you can see it's not even really a big candle guys um, it it really isn't it's got a range oh, wow it's just so tiny compared to the other one I mean we're looking at um, well if we actually just hold on to it we can see what it is it's high is um, 10 9 80 um, so just under 11k and it's low is um, well just under well four is four and a half um, so you can see it's roughly a five hundred um, dollar range um and if i take you <laughs> all the way back over to way back when to show you the range of this candle on this day bearing in mind we were in a period of low of of, of low vol as you can see obviously we'd had this move down but period of low vol this candle had a high 
of um well a high of 6800 just over and a low of um 6147 so you can see um well, <laughs> well actually it's it, it's it's not too much more than a 500 dollar range actually um now that i look at it but but we'll have to clarify this uh, we'll have to put this in the context of a six thousand dollar price point as opposed to a an over ten thousand dollar price point so um obviously it was a lot bigger percentage move um so um so yeah um so that is all i've really got to say to be honest guys um yeah um i think the market can shake this off um i think um i think that um um, we are going to take our lead from the stock markets and 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 uh, the dollar, and I do believe the dollar is looking like um, well, it's looking like it wants to resume the downtrend, not trend, the downtrade, the downtrend. In all fairness, stock markets looking like they want to resume the uptrend. Um, stimulus, stimulus will come, guys, because these stock markets are looking dicey. And if they basically, they, they, yeah, and that's all these guys care about so um it is going to come and it was it wasn't really going to come at any of this point again the next check because they didn't need to and then obviously now they do need to so um so yeah that is it guys really not not much else to say um yeah regarding the stimulus check obviously steve mnuchin is now um is now taking it i thought i forgot his exact words but he's taking it very seriously um because obviously clearly like i said he wasn't taking it seriously before because they didn't care but obviously now that stock markets are looking dicey then he is taking it seriously again guys would you believe it um so anyway so thanks for listening guys remember this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i'll speak to you guys in the morning